Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with, of course, some more twos and I'm a little bit mad. I'm not gonna lie, for some reason, I was queuing and then I was like, you know what, I wanna record. So I went to go set up my, my OBS and I couldn't set it up in time and before I got into a game. And then I hit a six shot. And for some reason recently, I'm not playing that good when I record. So yes, I am this down bad for content. I'm going in the replay and showing you the good shot. But you might not even think it's that good. But I thought it was sick. I just had a good game. And then now, of course, we're gonna we're gonna record. Eh, it was okay, and now I'm looking back at it. I don't know. Anyways, let's get into the games. Hopefully I can hit something cool. Alright, guys, first game is actually a quick queue. Okay, yeah, that's why. We got Taroko, Cam, Hazo. Oh, Taroko on my team. Nice. Okay, so we got a we got a duo on the other team. And yeah, Taroko, very good twos player. I always he always ends up I don't play him like a whole bunch all the time. I missed a boost section. I don't play him like all day at all, but the days I do play him. I happen to record. I feel like he's in a lot of my videos. Okay. Might be a goal still. Ah, oh, good try. Delay shot. That was a good try by Taroko to force it, but Hazo just got a really good low fake, and then I ended up having to recover, kind of like flip midair to get a touch. And Cam was there to finish it, but it's not too big of a deal. It's a really good kickoff. Hopefully Taroko can stop this from being a two goal deficit off the rip. Can't tell if that's in or not. It is in. Nice. Okay. I really couldn't tell if that was bottom right. Cam just slightly missed. Opened it up for the rewrite. He tried to he tried to slot that top right. Ended up getting the the bottom right myself. Looks like they're doing a lot of kickoff strats, so I'm going to be wary of that. Sometimes when people are partied up, you see a lot more planned kickoffs, which makes sense. Another fake. Read that one. I think Troika left the boost for me. All right, I hear him kind of a little bit far behind me. It was a little bit risky. Just just, you know, there's a chance he had enough speed to, to get there, but wanted to control that. Not sure if Turgus has a flip. Nice. I'm going to fake this here. Just going to force this. All right, it's a bad flip anyway. I don't, even, I don't even think I touched it, but I don't think it matters. Double demo from us. Maybe mid. Okay, too late now. I'm not going to go. Not sure. He, I might have been just outside of his, uh, his vision. I feel like if he saw me, he would have passed that. Bad flip reset. Maybe something on the rebound. The cleanup. The cleanup crew from Roko. Use my camera there, there to uh, see where Hazo is. Oh, he actually missed. I was kind of chalking up the beat there. Just gonna let him beat me to Taroko. Ended up missing it. And we almost scored off of it. Leave that boost, for my teammate. Okay, he left it, so I have control. Oh, I didn't hear him actually. And that's a good save. I cannot stand the sparkles boost, I'm not gonna lie. It's so popular now. This and this and standard, which I actually use standard a little bit now, just because it feels good. But they're so much more quiet, uh, quiet than alpha boosts and stuff. Sometimes I feel like midair, I can't hear it. Unless I absolutely crank my volume. Like that. <clears throat> a little bit of a weird start to this game. I won't lie. Nice block. I'm gonna try to go for a low 50. Nice, it worked. There we go. That was pretty threatening, just because I could have. I had so many options. I could have went for a flip reset. I could have went for like a double, maybe. I think towards the end, definitely kind of. But from his view, it definitely looked like there was a million options. Sometimes the most simple one is very confusing. And there's a lot of peak potential. Oh, it's way wide. For some reason, I thought he was a lot closer to me mid, just my quick view. Depth perception was not on point. Good 50. Might be a, be a goal. Oh, good, good like speed flip by Hazo to get that. I'm gonna leave this boost. Let Roko come get it. He might actually turn after it too. Okay, he wanted to, but Hazo went up the wall. And Taroko turned mid. That should be fine. Actually ended up being awkward for him. I got you, bro. No worries. Almost bad. Okay, another good 50. Nice. I think I took this back right, right? Maybe I didn't. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Mistimed it in my head. Felt like I had taken it a long time ago. I'm not sure why. I feel like I'm usually pretty good with that time in the boost response. But that felt like a long time for some reason. Alright, we both ended up going, so I'm just gonna float a little bit there. 
Still had a 50, worst case scenario, but I didn't want to go forward if he was going to. Okay, I usually would leave that boost for him, but... A little, oh, no, he actually... I don't think that was on purpose. He, he messed... He never... He ended up not flicking it, I feel like. Let me see. Maybe it was on purpose, but it looks like he just missed the flick. It worked very well, though, regardless. Back to tie game. Strip the cam. Oh, went slightly around Turco. That was well played, though. He went so low that I couldn't let Turco go as well, and then it went, went right around him. All right, one minute left. Hopefully that's not too bad. I know it's not a good 50, but... It's definitely... It didn't end up in a goal. Bad challenge by me, but Roko made up for it, which I like to see. Alright, hopefully enough space so I can control this. Oh, that was good. Good block by Hazo. He pre-jumped the uh, shot directly on net and then used the rest of his boost to get in front of me. Mid-flip demo would have been nice, and that's not the bounce I want. It's okay, we still got time. Nice. Just gonna go backward. With? Oh, made it forward though. Good 50. No, the bad shot. I mean, there's a slight chance he pre-jumps it there. But also far. Back to Roko. Oh! No, that was so close. That was actually a good try. Roko was there. Cam actually just played really good that game. I, I won't even lie. I'll give, it, give him the credit there. That was a good, well-played game by him. It's a rematch, but instead of Taroko, I have G-Man. Alright, I'm not too sure. Not too familiar with G-Man. Let's get it. See if we can get the duck. I'm trying to play a little bit faster this game. I feel like last game I was just a little bit too slow. Hard. Like, really weird shot to finish. Didn't expect that miss either. Gotta dodge this demo. Nice. Take that. Give me a shot. Okay, right up, nice, huh, okay. I did not expect that, neither did Hazo. He just slowed it down and then went for like a popover. It looked very interesting. Nice start though. I think we started up last game too. Take this boost. Ooh, got the bump on him though. Oh, that was actually good placement. Just really good save. Cam's playing really good right now. Barely got it off in time, but it's too high. And I'm pretty sure Hazo had boost, so I don't think it was a goal, even if it was on. I think he just knew it was over. I'm gonna go for a ground pinch here. That was well played by him to meet me there. I was hoping he would get scared of the flip reset and then stay high. Because usually people play backboard on those like that, but... I think he knew Cam was coming back and that he needed a challenge for him. Nice, there we go. Wasn't in, had to finish it. It was a good chase by uh, by G-Man. Make him jump there. That's what my friends used to call me. Watch out for the kickoff strat, which I actually just made it worse by doing a neutral kickoff. Gonna go quick. Nice, barely got that. I actually dove too low. But I guess if he ended up faking, I had it too. So maybe I was just covering more than I needed to. Cam's definitely gonna have that. They're actually gonna double commit for it. So I'll just take that boost and cut. And I know Hazo has to be a little bit low. He might have some left. Actually, I have a good bit left. Never mind. He saved a lot. <laughs> I thought he used a lot going to the backboard. He must have had like literally 100 when he jumped. That's wide. In fact, I can go in for it. Take his boost. So that's an easy read for him. Oh, okay. I didn't mess up G Man too much there. I actually might have helped him by hitting it into him. I'm not sure. Make my car as long as possible. I 
the shot. That's wide. Oh, wow. I did not. Okay. My thought process was he was definitely going to go for a double, but he shot it right at me. Definitely should not have been a goal. I should have played that way smarter. Fuck it, though. Still got a goal lead. I know Cam's got full boost, so I gotta be careful for a shot and a pass. Not sure when these boosts were taken, so I'm just gonna go back to the back right, because I know that one's there. Alright, I gotta watch out for a bump, which he did go for. G-Man's gonna make it in time, nice. Still have the breed there. I think he just took the back right, so I'm not gonna count on that. Nice bump. Still not going to be able to go for it though, because people have really good recoveries nowadays where you can't just expect it to not be red even off that. I think I, I think you could see Hazo recovering off the uh, off the roof there. Definitely didn't expect that good of a shot, I think. Or like, kind of kind of what Cam did to me, that simple of a shot. <laughs> I think he did the same thing like I did on the goal line. Overthinking what's going to happen and then the shot directly on net catches you off guard. Nice. Alright, no goal potential here. Just save as much boost as I can while not letting him have too much off of it. Nice. He covered the high, so I went low. That was why I jumped down there. There are some times where, or a lot of times actually, people are so good at air dribbling that even when your teammate covers high, they go over him and you're covering low. So that makes it a little difficult. But more often times than not, people mess up and end up shooting low on purpose, or on, uh, sorry, I meant on accident. Alright, this might be Tehazo, but hopefully G-Man is chilling back there. Oh, we got another whiff. Might be saved. Let's say, I think that's gonna have to be a boom, because he had to use a good amount of boost. Not a lot, but a decent chunk of his boost to save that. So he'd rather hit it away and get boost than control with no, uh, unlucky. He's saying my bad, but I feel like that was my bad too. Like, he had control, kind of. I thought, actually Hazo had control. Well, I don't know. I don't know, he ch I should have saw him chasing it and then left it. But, I don't know, that's just unfortunate. I don't, I don't, I can't really put blame on one person. That was my fault too. Definitely wasn't just his fault. I was playing really close to the, to that. Would it have been fine if he left it? Yes, but it probably would have been fine if I left it too, so. We'll just chalk it up to uh, to unlucky. Oh, I went for me. I thought we were going to fight for the boost, but... I guess if he demos me, the boost is free, so <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Actually, why he would do that. Oh, I almost 50 both of them. Alright, let's just time delay here. We need to panic. And get ourselves scored on. Hopefully G-Man can put in somewhere. I'm going to fake this. Nice. Should be dead. Nice, there we go. Well played. This duo is actually playing good. Especially especially Cam. But uh, well played from G-Man. We got some nice 10 points there. Make up for our first loss. And uh, yeah, let's play one more. All right, guys. Last game of the video. Looks like we're just going to play the same duo the whole time. And I'm definitely not familiar with Mr. Small Circles. So this will be interesting. This might be a bad start. I'm going to let him go since he got the boost. Oh, this is another boost that's... Honestly, pretty annoying. Bubbles is like, oh, yeah, I got faked. Ah, my bad. I thought he's gonna have a, a shot off of it, but he's completely, completely missed it. Anyways, Bubbles is one that's very hard to uh, to see when they're aerialing or like air dribbling. You can't, you can't really see if they're boosting or not. But I think that's just because I think it's just a weirdly like I don't, I don't even know if saying niche mindset is the word because. There was a while where like everyone who was pro used alpha boost, but now there's like a lot of people who have placebos with it, where they think it like it feels a little bit slower, or I think even like Chronic has said it feels laggy to him. And there's just like weird placebos like that. A lot of pros have placebos, so it's me included. That sounded like judgmental almost, but I have a lot of placebos. <laughs> I mean, I think every video I have different camera settings, which is also just a habit I've had for a long time, but. Anyways, let's get into the game instead of my inner deep thoughts. That was a good bait in, actually. I was wondering why he was hesitating and then realized he was just baiting him in. 
Not the great. This is 50. Nice, though. Can't miss. So I think we're good. So, so should be good. As long as he follows that up. Nice. Grab back left here. Nice dunk. Should have a 50, but he might save it. Okay, nice. He flipped. He actually flipped out of the way. Uh, he had the save, I think, if he just aerialed. That, that's a bad habit, like, everyone has, though. Like, when you're going for a save, you react, like, you, you, you're preparing for the hit, so you try to flip into it to get a good touch. And it's, a lot of times you'll flip out of what, like, what your initial gut read was. Because I do that all the time. I'll have a save, and then as I'm coming out of net, I'll flip, trying to block it even better than just, like, it hitting off of me, and then I'll flip out of, out of the way of the save almost, like you're dodging the ball. It's almost like when you're trying to hit something and thinking about it, you miss it. But if you don't think about it, you just hit it. You just save it. Same kind of mindset, I feel like. I could be wrong, but... Or it could be two different things, I'm trying to say. This might be... This might be spooky. I think it's just... Oh, I arrowed that really bad. That was pretty bad for me, I'm not gonna lie. I was scared of the flip reset, though. That's why I started low. But I was hoping I could make up for it by catching up to it. That was just a good air dribble, though. I'm not gonna lie. That was really good control. Grab left mid. Fake this. One of them's gonna go quick. Try to bump the other. Oh, no. I gotta hit it back. Maybe this was just one. No, that was a risk. It did not pay off. That wasn't that bad, though. I did keep the ball up. Feel it a little bit. Oh, sideways landing. Over. He might miss. Oh, what a read, actually. Looked like he was missing. Got the touch after. Hazo's feeling it. It's that sparkles boost, man. The placebo. It's crazy. I'm just kidding. I'm not a big fan of it. It makes me play worse. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, it's okay. It's all right. That was an opportunity, but it's okay. Let's go quick. Mess with him enough to get the ball off of him. Is that a goal? Oh, wow. Okay, well. That bump ended up being huge. We ended up scoring off of it. <laughs> I did not think we would score. I was just hoping I'd stop his solo play. But nice. It was a good, uh, good finish. I just realized his name is actually Small Circus. Like, he has a I, but I'm sure... I think Small Circles was taken... So he's using the uppercase I, or maybe that's a, I don't know, whatever one. To, to, oh yeah, uppercase I, to make it look like that's funny. Anyways, I don't know why I just decided to notice that small detail in his name. Okay, I got there in time. Honestly, like, I thought, I wasn't too worried I wouldn't get there in time, but the faith he had in going, made me think like maybe I'm misreading this because <laughs> he was very very like he committed pretty hard to get the, try to get that goal but I think he was just hoping I'd fake or something like that instead of just flipping into it that I'd overthink oh no I had the save and he missed and my teammate slotted it oh my god <laughs> that's unlucky honestly perfect slot this keeps happening especially with Hazel he keeps missing or that that looks like a fake that was a fake I think he faked that on purpose because I think he saw that I was floating for the save and then because he literally boosted away from it. But either way, I'm not trying to take away from his shots. I'm just saying I'm getting faked a bunch. But I think it's because I'm playing a little too slow on the read. Try, just trying to block it instead of cut it off. But we still have time. Wait on the slip. Touch. Nice touch. This is not going to spawn for a second, I don't think. There it is. Hit off the corner. Oh, that was a good shot. Just well saved, honestly. Wait on this. Uh-oh. A little bit of a panic touch. Got it, though. I'm, I'm on to Hazo's game now, though. I'm trying to read for a fake more often than not. All right, 15 seconds. We might get like one or two opportunities if we can even get our defense. Here's another flip here. Nice save. Oh, maybe to the left, to the left, fast. Oh, go. No, he, he had that. Oh my God, he had that. Oh, he instant left, he knows. He had that too. That was a good try. 
He almost clutched up with that. I'm not gonna lie. That was almost crazy. Uh, we did go one and two today. I'm not gonna lie. They were just playing good. I wasn't. I didn't do the best, but I had some had some good shots, or whatever. But it is what it is. Um, that happens a lot when I play ranked. I do lose a lot. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyways, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry we couldn't get the dubs today, but regardless, hope you guys or I hope I see you guys in the next video, and I'll catch you later. Peace.